In this quick tutorial, you will learn how to set up and use the perspective grid in Adobe Illustrator. Whether you're working on 3D designs, buildings, or isometric illustrations, this tool is super handy. Let's get started. To activate the perspective grid, click the Edit Toolbar icon and then select the Perspective Grid Tool icon. The default two-point perspective grid will appear on the artboard. Alternatively, you can activate the perspective grid by navigating to View, Perspective Grid, where you'll find three options to choose from, depending on your needs. One-point perspective, two-point perspective, or three-point perspective. In this example, we'll use the two-point perspective. When you activate the perspective grid tool, you'll notice that a plane switching widget appears with the default plane set to the left side. You can adjust the grid by dragging the vanishing points to increase the width or by dragging the top and bottom points to adjust the height. Additionally, you can move the grid to any desired location by dragging this point. To place your design onto the grid, first, activate the Move tool. Then, expand the shapes for precise adjustments by selecting them and going to Object, Expand. Next, group the shapes by going to Object, Group. To place the grouped shapes onto the active plane, Activate the Perspective Selection tool by pressing Shift-V, then drag the group onto the active plane. That's for the left plane. For the right plane, group the shapes. Select the right plane and move the grouped shapes accordingly. Finally, adjust the shapes as needed to fit them onto the grid. Now you know how to set up and use the Perspective Grid in Illustrator. To hide the grid, Press Ctrl-Shift-I on Windows or Command-Shift-I on Mac. And that's it! If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick tips. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.